Hello everyone. Welcome to the story time. It's a new Sunday and it's time for a new story. Today I am reading you a story title Three Gifts and the story is out of Singapore. And the story is written by Wang Chu Wei and it's published by Asia Foundation. Now, are you all ready for story of three gifts? All right, all right. Here it goes. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived a wise man with magical powers. He lived with his three daughters in a house by a stream. Nobody knew about his powers, not even his daughters. One day, the old man called his daughters to his side and said, My dear daughters, I'm getting old. One day, I will die. Before I die, I want to give each of you a special gift. The special gift will help you in your life. But you must know how to make good use of it. I have three special houses. One is full of rice. And no matter how much you eat, the house will always be filled with rice. The second house is house full of gold. No matter how much you spend, you will never run out of gold. The last one is full of books. And no matter how much you read, there will always be new books for you. Give me the house of rice, said the eldest daughter, so that I will never ever be hungry. Give me the house of gold, said the second daughter, so that I can buy all the beautiful clothes and jewelry. The old man turned to his youngest and favorite daughter. I have only the house of books left, my dear, but you will find that it is the best gift of them all. Dear father, you are the wise one. I will take what you have for me because it is a special gift from you. Soon after, the old man passed away. The eldest daughter lived in her house of rice. She never worked a day because she did not need any money to buy food. She ate and she ate and she grew and she grew until she got so big that she could not get out of the house. The second daughter lived in her house of gold. She too never worked a day since she could buy all the things she needed with the gold. Her things grew and grew until there was no space for her to move around anymore. The youngest daughter read every day. She learned something new each day and her knowledge grew and grew. She was able to do many things for the people and earn enough money to buy the food and things she needed. In fact, she didn't need to buy many things because she learned to cook and made things with her hands. News of her wisdom and ability spread and people came from all over the land to seek her advice and help, including her sisters. She was more than happy to help. 
as the more she read to help the people, the wiser she become. Soon, a village sprouted around the house of books. People came to learn from her and to read her books. She welcomed the villagers to her house, taught them to read, and gave them books. Each time she gave away a book, a new one would appear. Soon, the villagers called her the wise one. On the day she received the honor from the villagers, she thought of her father. Father, I know you gave me the best of the best. If you stumble upon the house today, you would probably see her still reading and learning in the house of books. This is the end of the story. I'm sure you like the story and I hope you also understood the value of reading. If you read, if you learn and if you learn, you are knowledgeable and you become wise and one day you will be able to help others and help this world a beautiful place to live for everyone. That's the magic of the book and that's the takeaway of the story. Now, this is the end of the story time. I will see you next Sunday with the new story. For now, namaste and goodbye.